Welcome to the Skein Witch YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia, or Allie for short. If you like talking yarn, crochet, knitting, and all things crafty, definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me, my pretty. <laughs> My fiber friends, how are we all doing? Welcome to day seven of Vlogtober. So let's just jump right into opening some yarn. So of course, as always, we are starting off with Mezzo Makes. Let's open up day seven. So this one kind of popped open on its own, but I promise I did not peek. Ooh, this one's pretty here. Let me get a little bit brighter in here. So it's like a blue, a blue, a gray, and a white. I don't even know what this could be. I always try to guess what movie it could be, but this one, I have no idea. But that colorway is beautiful. So I'm gonna scratch off and see what it is. Okay, so this colorway is inspired by the movie Scream, and this is Billy Loomis, and you could watch Scream on Paramount Plus. That is beautiful. And we're gonna move right along to our Surella's Yarn 13 Days of Salem. And here is day seven. Ooh, this colorway is pretty. There's been a lot of like browns and very, very neutral kind of tones, like deeper neutral, very moody and I love it. This one's got like a little bit of brown. It's got a little bit of like a burnt orange almost and a, like, I don't know, very light spots in there. It's just very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, so day seven, this is the trials. That is really pretty. I love this colorway a lot. Okay, so I was supposed to start this advent calendar, I think yesterday but I didn't. So we're gonna start it today and that is my Kitty with a Cupcake advent calendar and these are stitch markers. So I am super excited to open these up. So these come in like these little boxes like this. So I will dig through and find day one. So this one is also a 13 day advent calendar. Uh, this also came with a sock set, but I think I'm gonna open the sock set on the last day of this advent. So I did find day one and they come in these little cute boxes. Let's take a look, I'm so excited. I love their stitch markers. So I'm excited to see what these are like. Ooh. Okay, so these are, it's a stitch marker and then you can turn it into a bracelet. So the bracelet is like this really pretty, let me see if I can show it. It kind of looks rose gold, but not. It kind of looks a little orangey. So that is super pretty. And I love that idea. You know, like I love, I used to love charm bracelets when I was younger. I feel like that was such a 90s thing, right? Or early 2000s. So that is super pretty, I love that. And then the actual stitch marker, which is so freaking cute. It's this little jack-o'-lantern, hold on, focus. How cute is this? I can't keep my hands still, I'm sorry. That is so cute. Oh, I love him. So I'm definitely gonna put him on the bracelet. So there is day one on the bracelet. Of course, it's gonna fall the wrong way. Very pretty. I am so excited to open all these up because I know they're gonna be good. I have a few stitch markers from this business. Um, again, it is Kitty with a Cupcake. And if you didn't watch my original like advent opening, it came in this cute bag. It's got a bat on it. 
and I am completely obsessed with this bag. It is so fun. I think what I'll do is I'll have, I'll have this hand hold the bracelet so that way I don't lose it. You can't really see it, but I have it hanging on one of her hands. Um, and then I have to replenish our days already. And then actually what I'll do now is I will put out the next couple of days of these so that way I don't get lost and confused. I'm getting so excited. We are getting super close to Rhinebeck. So that's exciting. Are any of you going to Rhinebeck? This is my first year, so I don't even know what to expect. I'm just excited. And my boyfriend and I are, our anniversary is on the 12th. I almost forgot. <laughs> it's on the 12th, so we like to do something for our anniversary. So this is a little weekend trip that we are taking. We are staying in a tiny home nearby. We stayed in a really, really nice tiny home in upstate New York uh, over the winter, but unfortunately they were so expensive so we couldn't stay at the same place. So we found this other little, little place that hopefully is going to be just as nice and it is a little ways away from Rhinebeck. That's why I think I'm only going to be going to day one. But it's going to be nice to get away for the weekend. So we're going we're going up Saturday morning so that I will hopefully be there by the time the doors open at Rhinebeck. And like I said, this is my first year, so I don't even know what to expect. That's why I'd rather just be there bright and early. So we will see. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.